guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk through my January favourite. Even though January is like such a long month and you get a lot of goodies for Christmas and stuff, I actually feel like I don't really have a lot of January favourites, which is really strange. I think a lot of, I but it's after doing my kind of like best of 2014 and my December favourites, I actually don't have a lot in January at all. But I do have a couple of things to show you. I'm going to start off with an oldie but a goodie and that is my Garnier Body Repair. Now, it's kind of strange that I've never mentioned this in a YouTube video before or even on my blog, but I have been using this for years. I have to moisturise my whole body when I come out of the shower, otherwise my skin does feel really tight. And this has just been so great. I even recommended it to my brothers, like just complete lads, but they love it as well. It's just such a great moisturiser. Because I get sent a lot of beauty products, moisturisers, lots of things, I actually just stopped buying this for well over a year because I had so many other, you know, body lotions and body butters and things like that to get through. And as soon as it started to get really, really cold, I did start to notice like really dry patches on my skin. And I just thought, you know what, I need to go back to my body repair and it just kind of fixed everything. It doesn't give you that, it doesn't give you that sticky feeling. It doesn't have like perfume in it. It's not about the smell, but it's just about the feel good. And this is just fabulous. I had to mention it. And then while I was in Boots that day, I had to just get a shampoo and I saw the Charles Worthington Volume and Balance Shampoo. So I'm already obsessed with the texturising spray, so I thought, oh, why not try the shampoo? And it's actually really good. I do feel like, you know, my hair has had a bit of extra, like, you know, bounce to it, a bit of extra oomph without me having to style it and stuff. So I really like the shampoo and it smells really nice too. It smells just like the texturising spray, which is another reason I love it. And um, moving on to skincare, I'm not sure if I mentioned this Caudalie Divine Oil for body, face and hair. I got this, I think it was either in a birch box, I think it was in a birch box I got it and it smells really nice, which, you know, I'm all about things that smell really nice. But what I have been using this for, and you only need a tiny bit, so I've been using it for about a month now and I'm still only up to here because you just need kind of like two, what are that, dips, whatever it is, just do your face. But what I've been doing is, I have now, because it's January and you know, we're all, everyone's into like the fitness thing, getting fit, I have actually gone back into like some exercises and working out, um, not every morning, but I'm trying to do it three times a week, rather than apply like moisturiser and things like that because I'm just working out in my house, I don't need to do that whole kind of like no makeup makeup look for the gym. I'm just doing it downstairs in my front room and I have been putting this on. So, so after I've washed my face, a couple of drops of this all over my face and, and my face doesn't feel greasy or sweaty at all. It just looks really healthy and I actually look okay without my makeup on when I've got this on. Um, but it just really sinks into your skin and just makes your skin kind of feel really nice so like not dry and just like really glowy and you know I've just been using that and I just feel like the overall dryness and appearance of my skin has been a lot better so I've been loving this to use in the mornings and even if you do go to the gym or for a run or wherever and you're not wearing makeup I would definitely take advantage of just putting on a really good face oil like this one and just letting it kind of work its magic while you're working out. Now before I move on to makeup, I thought I would talk about this. So I've done a full review on the micro nail and I really, really like it. It is so good. So you just take, it comes like this, you take the lid off and you have like a roll, you have a roller and you just press this button here. That is how fast it goes. So this is one of those things you can do when you're watching TV, and especially if you're watching TV with someone because they're gonna get really irritated with this noise. However, you literally only need two seconds on each nail. So it's just like, well, well I don't wanna do it too much I'm gonna take my nail by the shop. But you just need like two seconds on each nail and it just really buffs your nails and makes your nails so smooth. However, using, I kind of did take a break from shellac and I started using some other nail varnishes, um, kind of like gel based nail varnishes, but not necessarily shellac. Using this has kind of made me think that it's okay to use shellac again, because when you use shellac, you get a lot of ridges and this smooths it all out. So I've kind of gone back to using shellac as it 
just makes everything nice and smooth. So whether you use shellac or not, this is just a really good nail buffer. One eyeshadow, and I just picked this up when I went to Vista. I've got a cosmetic store in there, and they, they've got a lot of Estee Lauder brands in there. So they've got like Smashbox, MAC, Clinique, um, and like a lot of Estee Lauder makeup. And it's kind of just either end, it's not, they're not, it's not old stuff, it's kind of end of season, and they've even got a lot of Clinique's current range in there, it's called the Cosmetic Store, and it's really good because it's kind of, it's almost like being duty free, it's just a little bit cheaper, which is very exciting. So I went in there, and even though I had a lot of stuff from the MAC bit already, or some of it's not the right shades, I actually found this eyeshadow, which I really, really like, and it's called Through the Night. Because I'm obsessed with baby makeup, I bought this, and... It's one of those big eyeshadow pots, it's going to last me a long time, but I have just been loving this this month to use as a liner along my lower lash line. A little more bluer than navy, and I just really, really like it. It's one of my all-time favourites, and again, because I get sent so many like makeup products, and especially blushes, I kind of just thought, okay, do you know what, I don't need to just rebuy this at the moment. And then I think I was just randomly walking past it, and I thought, no. This is what I am missing. I need Dallas by Benefit back in my life. I just adore this as a blusher, as a bronzer. So many people, you know, and I think a lot of fairer skin people use it as a bronzer. I just love Dallas. It's just, look at it, it's just so pretty and it's just so simple, just understated and I just love Dallas. I'm wearing it now. I just, it's just my favorite all time blusher. I just need it in my life and I'm so glad that I've got it back so I had to mention it in my favourites. I think I might have mentioned it in one of my very very first favourites like before YouTube favourites but just like blog favourites but I just really really love this so I thought I had to mention it. And then my last two products are both from number seven and the first one is a mascara which is called Midnight Lash and I love this in December and oh no did I mention it in my December favourites? I'm not sure but I I definitely did like a smoky eyed look with this and I love the packaging because it's so nice and just sparkly but also lately when I've been going out or when I've been going out in the evenings I've actually been reaching for this mascara it's really easy to use it's like a little bit thinner at the top so you can get into the corners and it's just a really really good mascara it gives you a lot of volume and I know that I've already got kind of quite long eyelashes but it does give me that extra bit of length as well but it's just such a great mascara and I love the price point on it. And the other number seven product is the Stay Perfect Shade and Define so I think this might come in a couple of colours. I've got the colour Precious which is a really nice gold shade and I've been using this pretty much every day just to use, just to highlight the inner corners of my eyes that are just going a tiny little bit into my lash line. This is just like a really nice subtle shimmer, it kind of brightens up the eye area and it's just so pretty and that's it that's basically my favorites for January I know there isn't a great deal but there's still some you know good ones in there I think it's about quality not quantity however I know that my February favorites is going to be really exciting it's going to be my birthday and I've already got a couple of new things that I haven't started to try yet but I'm really excited to try so definitely look, keep an eye out for my February favorites please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video please hit the subscribe button as well and as always, I'll have all the detail, product details on my blog, secretstarfile.com. I will see you back here soon. Bye, guys.